Rumors have the Google Nexus 5 launching in less than a week. Nokia teases their October 22nd event and they include even a laptop. And the BlackBerry founders want to go and buy it back. I'm Jaime Rivera. And regardless of who fixes or buys BlackBerry, that's not going to pull my Z10 out of the drawer, sadly. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Sony has just unveiled their Xperia Z1F, which is the Z1 Mini that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. And as it was rumored back then, this is a device without compromise. Finally, finally we get a small phone with flagship specifications, the same specs as the Z1, only in a smaller chassis with a 4.3 inch 720p display, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, there's a catch. Sadly, this device is currently slated only for the Japanese market and we're still not sure if we'll ever see it on our shores. And and even if it does, we're not sure if it's going to be timely enough. So stay tuned for that. Let's see how that goes. Now let's do some BlackBerry talk because there is still a little bit left out there. And you know that the Fairfax Financials deal pretty much didn't happen. The company is still working to find the $4 billion that they need to spend on BlackBerry to buy it back from public. But as it turns out, the company co-founders have just made themselves public in order to try to buy back the company and make it their own once again. Is really interesting and ironic at the same time, but still, there is a lot of great stuff within BlackBerry, and currently the company is looking into dividing itself to be sold in pieces, so this is a good option. We're just not sure if it's going to be worthy enough or timely enough anymore. Nokia's up next as the company is teasing their October 22nd event, and if you find the banner for the teaser kind of weird, don't worry. You're not alone. The company is teasing us a phablet, which we were expecting, and a tablet, which we were also expecting, but we're also apparently getting a laptop, a Nokia branded laptop. And don't be surprised, this is not new. The company's been working on building computers for years in failed attempts. So it could be that the company is now bringing us computers as well. And just think about this proposition. Nokia is now becoming more like Samsung and Apple, uh, more like other companies. And this is really, really interesting. Let's see what we get at the event. And for all of us that are crazy waiting for the Google Nexus 5, we were expecting an event to happen at the end of this month, but we've got some credible sources stating that apparently we will be getting it announced on October 15th, which is actually on Tuesday. Uh, and that's really close. I don't think it's really going to happen that way because we don't have any press invitations or anything. Still, you know, Friday is still left, so anything could happen by the weekend as well. And yeah, we are expecting a ton of things coming from Google very soon. Uh, let's just see if it does happen next week. There are more days on the week than just Tuesday as well. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we've got some leaked photos of the HTC One Max being used, which is cool, but that's not really the cool news. Even cooler is the fact that we've got some credible reports that show us that the fingerprint scanner at the back is going to be more than just a security biometric. Apparently, you can program the scanner to remember your fingers, and depending on which finger you use to touch the scanner, it'll launch a specific application or perform a specific task, which is awesome. Just think about it. You give it your pinky and it'll make a phone call or something like that. Obviously, this is just a concept. We're still not sure if this is really going to happen, but you know, that leads me to the question of the day. Uh, would you consider that to be the genius fingerprint scanner move that other companies should do? You know, honestly, I find it awesome. I find it really cool as long as HTC allows us to do that when the phone is on standby, because if I still have to turn on my phone and if I still have to unlock it and still have to you know, do the fingerprint scanner thing, then what's the difference between doing that and just pressing the shortcut? Leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And yes, if you do want to get the news earlier than this video gets filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you guys very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.